So in the last video, Raman Maharishi was talking about how to quiet the mind down and he was discussing different uh, practices. And then Sri Prakashan Pillai asked that when will all these thoughts will be completely destroyed? And the Raman Maharishi answers, when the meditation on the self or when the understanding, when the experience of the self uh, raise higher and higher and higher, these thoughts get dissolved. Then Sri Prakashan Pillai is asking, is it even possible to, you know, completely dissolve all these thoughts and it stays uh, present in the self, like what you are referring, right? Is it even possible, like, to uh, completely destroy all these thoughts, which seems like endless, which seems like the waves in the ocean? Will it ever get dissolved? And will you ever be established into the self, in the pure self and all that, right? And the Raman Mahesh replies, uh, one should not think about whether this is possible or not, but one should renounce this very thought whether this is possible or not, right? In a way, he's saying, uh, this is not a good question, but he's saying that instead of getting into, because you're again in the layer of thoughts, right? When you're thinking whether it is possible or not, or when you're thinking, in fact, the Raman Mahesh says, even one is the biggest sinner, one should not weep about I have done this, I have not done this and all that. One should let go of this very thought. So he's talking from very uh, much more deeper space, right? He's not talking about the solutions. There's no solution on the level of uh, thoughts. There's no way you can, you know, resolve the thoughts by thinking and understanding and uh, things like these because such is the nature of the mind, right? So he says, but you can transcend it, right? And that's what he's saying from the behind, from the level of self, from the level of awareness, um, you can let them go, right? Even if the thoughts are very intense and they are about like, um, you know, uh, remorse and uh, these kind of thoughts that I am the biggest sinner and you are crying about it and all that. Raman Maharishi says, let go of this thought, renounce this thought. He's stirring, he's talking from much more deeper space here, right? Renounce this thought altogether. And that is the way to uh, finally destroy the mind. Uh, that is the way to transcend the mind, right? Very beautiful. So that's what he's referring. Okay, this is how you do it. You don't get into this thinking of whether it is possible or not. How is it possible? How to solve it? How not to solve it? If you want to completely transcend the mind, then let go. Let go and renounce this thought process altogether. And then he says, one should not let the mind dwell into the worldly objects or concern about what other people are saying or doing. Um, that will feed the mind. Right, that will that is the opposite. So he's uh, contrasting, right? So first he talked about like uh, one should let go of any kind of thoughts altogether, and now he's saying the if you engage in the worldly object or if you concern too much about what other people are doing, that will increase the frequency of thoughts. That will increase the chaos in the mind, right? So one should not engage in them uh, intentionally, right? Like the worldly object and the one should not look for the happiness in these things in a way. And the more you let them go, the more you are going to get established into the self, right? So, then he says, when the one's mind becomes the quiet, everything becomes quiet. And once the one's mind is noisy, everything is noisy, right? So he's pointing it out that this noise and this quietness is not external, it is internal, right? Our mind is noisy and our mind is quiet. And then he says, if somebody's mind is quiet, or somebody is quiet, uh, he can live anywhere, right? It doesn't matter. So if one has transcended this layer of thoughts or this temporary emotions, um, that for that person it does not matter, right? What is kind of happening outside? And that's uh, where the Raman Maharshi is. And that, you know, these, these movement of thoughts and emotions uh, can be transcended. That's what he's pointing it out, right? And once you transcend it, and once you are quiet within yourself, and when you see, once you are satisfied and happy within yourself, uh, then it does not matter what is happening outside, in a way, right? A little bit uh, uh, deeper, beautifully said. Like, how do you ultimately destroy the mind? How do you ultimately uh, transcend the mind? Right? There is no solution in the thinking. That's what he was pointing out from the beginning. By solving these things through the mind, about the mind. Right? How can I solve this? How can I not solve it? 
this will continue forever right but it is possible to completely transcend it and get established into the self and the more somebody get established into the self um, the more the mind becomes quiet right because it's feeling satisfied and happy within himself right and once you are quiet it does not really matter what is happening outside and your state of you know, engagement is much higher right so you are still engaging in the external world but from not the point of view of taking something but from the point of view of you know participating beautiful